Share with us why you're here today. I'm like a farmer. I came to sow seeds in your ground. <laughs> Who else has the same idea that I'm going to come and sow here today? If you did, put your hands together for Jesus again. So share with us, where did this idea come from and how has the Lord brought you on this journey? Uh, yeah, I would like to find out how many people before you born into this world uh, had already a million dollars in your account waiting to spend. I don't think too many hands are going to go up. I was one of them. Um, I was born in Kyrgyzstan. My father was a pastor and I was a child number eight. And so we were not a wealthy family. We were actually poor in the sense because my dad was a full-time pastor and um, we came to America when I was 14. And um, my first job was a newspaper. And uh, my journey with God started sewing my $100 and, uh, into him. That's all I had at that time. And so it was in the service where the pastor shared a message. And he invited people to sew what they have. And it touched me so hard because he explained how much people have to in the uh, old generation or the uh, Old Testament... Uh, bring sacrifice, blood shed, and all the work. And I'm like, man, I don't need to do all this. So I took a hundred dollars. It was in my right pocket, and a ten dollars in the left pocket. I was like, I'll keep the ten dollars because that's what I'm gonna do by lunch after after service uh, with my friend. And I give him a hundred dollars. That changed my life. And um, move forward twelve years later, when I sold my sen- second company. Holy Spirit uh, encountered me very, you know, powerfully and remind me of that hundred dollars that I invested. I didn't waste it. You guys need to understand you don't waste anything what you sow in God's kingdom. When I sold my company, pretty much uh, Holy Spirit remind me of that hundred dollars and he said nothing went wasted and uh, what brought to me, it's a lot of more compound interest. And so the things that you invest in, it's in God's kingdom, who is going to be your personal teacher is God himself in the Holy Spirit. He's a, he will teach you all things that you need to know. So my journey started when I was 18. I started my business thinking it's my idea. And so move forward. My, pa- my dad was a pastor, but I learned about God from my dad, but actually I got to know him in the business. And so I thought the business is from devil. And before I got dive in too deep in the business, I prayed that God take it away because I was like, I don't want to go to hell if I need to go with the business. And so three months into the prayer, God didn't answer my prayer. My increase of my job was start increasing. I said, okay, Lord, this is, I need to change my prayer. And so I changed my prayer. I started asking for wisdom. And so then... Wisdom entered my heart because I was so persistent with the prayer. I knew I'm going to get it, but I wasn't sure how. So he gave me the keys to understand the word of God, how to apply in my business and in my life. And that's pretty much how the wisdom entered my heart. And so I've been invited. This one story I want to share with you guys, uh, how um, I've been invited to international ministry, uh, one event and there was a two events at the same time was happening. And uh, there was an anniversary of people who was married um, and uh, 50 years and 40 years of their uh, ministry. And I brought two checks. I thought I'm going to divide those two checks, one for their family and one for the church. I mean, for the ministry. And in, before the service start, we stand up to pray for the service. Holy Spirit encountered me powerfully and asked me to give him a hundred thousand dollar one check and I said okay uh, it, it's not new for me because I from that 15 years old I, I encountered God many times different different stories uh, have a lot of testimonies but so but one time big check I never wrote like this so and prior to this is you guys need to understand I enter into contract to close on one deal uh, within eight to nine days to close on the property. I'm in real estate business. And I entered that I, when I come back, I will close with cash closing. So three days into contract, I left with my wife. I come back, and now I'm short $100,000. And you guys need to understand one thing and one thing only. The faith will be tested. It will be tested. It's not like, oh, yeah, Peter is hype, and that's it. No, I come back. I was like, I'm short on $100,000. I'm like, God. 
And so I went into the relationship with him, and I told him two things I'm not going to do. I'm not going to go borrow money to close on the deal. I said, God, I invested into your kingdom, so if I'll fail, I'll fail with you. I'm okay with that. Like, honestly, that's no problem with me. Uh, if I fail anywhere else, why not with you? Um, and then uh, second thing, I'm not going to find excuse how I can't close on this deal. I'm like, you find excuse for me. I'm not going to go in, you know, oh, I'm short of money and then explain people why I was crazy, uh, what I felt at that moment, given $100,000 and then try to explain that to your realtor. So I didn't do that. And uh, so that transaction from eight days closing, I got a phone call. Peter, we can't close on this deal uh, because the seller have issues. It will be postponed. I said, well, inside I was like happy. I'm like, okay, that sounds great. But then at the same time, it was really hard because that period of testing of your faith, it's been extended to, to don't know how much. They said, when we're going to call you, it's going to be two days. You're going to get your money into our account and you make sure you close. I said, okay, that's all I can say. And I felt, just so you guys understand, physical pressure on my shoulder right here. Like I went to gym and I pulled up the weight and then it dropped and it's just pinch me here and I could not I, I was breathing heavily I'm like because my test at that time my faith was being tested and so three months later I got a other deals that I was working on that was closing the transaction took place hit my account and within one day I closed on that deal that I was supposed to close within eight days when I left to that so one one thing I was challenged to share the numbers but I it that broke off out of me guys you guys need to understand I didn't do nothing it wasn't me figuring out formulas it was God okay so I'm gonna share numbers so you guys understand the perspective so hundred thousand dollars I saw Three months later, I close on the deal. Then I need to be faithful, do my part. I need to build the construction. It was a land. I have to build uh, units and then sell them. That took about a year and a half project. And then after I completed and finished, there was a $1 million profit from that project. And it wasn't nothing me. It was God tested. And then, uh, and then he revealed to me one truth. is He said, Peter, I want to know how much I can test you. And the thing is that he want to test you with the finance, but can you, can you manage those finance well? So God is not actually want your money because his currency is completely different in heaven. So you're not helping him. So we're not trying to help him like money with the finance. But what I saw with your guys' church, I'm going to transition into Hungry Jan. God put it connected somehow with the with your guys' church. And I start showing it this because God revealed to me when he want, so you need the access to heaven through people, through ministries. And so if Hungry Gen right now, this is a door for me open to invest in heaven, straight up door to heaven. And so, but because God cannot physically manifest himself and come in his body and me to hand him his cash, he opened up Hungry Gen a platform so I can sow in here directly to go to my account and it will produce the fruit guarantee like there's no even like okay guys I, I'm in the business I know how it works so it's it's really gonna work God is not a, trying to trick you all he want to do is can I trust you and so if he can trust you like don't tell him oh God if you should trust him because if he trusts you it's in return you should trust him as well and so and when I invested here in what I see in here, it's a straight direct to the God's account. And God blessed me with other, I'm not going to go into other testimonies, but God changing and connecting. And so what I see in this platform, you guys remind me when I was driving here, Holy Spirit remind me, it's like town of Bethlehem. Very small, but big things coming out of here. Bethlehem was a small town when Jesus was born, but there's a big king came out of that. So for me, it, I love that. When small things happen in small towns, I'm like, I'm in there. I'm going to sow in there because I know that's opportunity. So I want to encourage every one of you guys who's here and also online, just one thing don't do. If God tests asking you of so, I'm not pure pressuring you, do only by faith. But if God's asking you of something, he know that you have, and it's a matter of do you trust him? And if I would be, a, I am a businessman, if I would raise my hand right now and I would say for you, would you invest with me? And I'll hold my hand for a couple of seconds. And if he changes his mind, I'll, I'll take my hand off and I'll, I'll ask him. So God showed me this. When he extends his hand, 
he's offering, can you partner with me? Can you partner with me? And we're like, hmm, let me think. Ah, no. Well, think twice who you're declining. And I'm not pure pressuring you, but it's really important that God is the God's worth of investing with. Because he will guide you. He will protect you. He will give you wisdom, knowledge. He never paid me cash. I'll be honest with you guys. I never saw Amazon shipping with a box of... But you know what he did to me? He opened a door to a relationship that leads to more deals, to more deals. He's entrusting us with more people, more relationship that leads to more deals for you. So Hungry Jen, I brought you guys. I was driving. I don't know. I wasn't thinking I'm going to actually be here. But then when um, I got welcome invitation here, God gave me the number. He's typically giving me a number. So I brought the seeds that the way I open up and I'm going to sow in the flat work and the foundation right now. That's the most important thing to be plug it in there because anything after that is going to give you a lot of fruits and you want to be, you, you don't want to miss out. So I just want to remind you that it's a God's door to God's kingdom and then it's going to be you guys going to be blessed I just say that there's no magic you have to step out of the faith it's going to be uncomfortable don't dare God do out of faith if God's put on the heart right now ten dollars give him ten dollars if he's off asking you for any amount and you know you have that just be faithful and just give him respond to that so it's not no peer pressure but know that God is faithful and he will he can entrust you more if he can trust you with small amounts. So any amount that you have in your heart, I just want to advise, don't decline his hands when it stands out for you and give you opportunity. So that's my advice.